This is how I got a job at Google without a computer science degree and no formal technical background. Hey, my name is Khan, and I've spent the last six years as a software engineer at various companies like Google, Sony, and a small startup. In this video, I'm gonna be going over my background and how I got into the tech industry, how I got an interview at Google, what I did to prepare, and what the interview experience was like. Let's dive in. So I attended a music conservatory for college. I was a gigging musician before deciding to break into the tech industry. The first stable full-time job I had was actually as a customer service rep for a web hosting company. And because they were a web hosting company, I actually got familiar with some of the domain related knowledge of software engineering. But most of the job was just responding to customers over live chat, so it was pretty unfulfilling. I got burnt out pretty quickly, and I remember a specific discussion that I had with my manager, and I asked him if he could transition me into like the design department or the engineering department. That didn't go over so well, so I decided to leave and attend a coding boot camp. This was in 2016. I attended the Hack Reactor bootcamp for 12 weeks and had an awesome experience. I actually loved helping other students so much that the bootcamp offered me to stay for another 12 weeks as a teaching assistant. I was ecstatic because I loved teaching what I knew. The coding bootcamp recognized this in me and actually offered me a full-time position to stay on as a technical mentor. This was great for me because I had already tripled my income from my time as a customer service rep, and I genuinely loved teaching. Eventually, the bootcamp asked me if I wanted to manage the campus instead of being a teacher. I had a decision to make. I had to decide between committing to be a great manager and an operator of the campus, or to continue doing what I love to do, which is to teach. I made the decision to try out managing the campus, but discovered that it really wasn't for me after about six months in. Around that time, I got a message from the former teacher from when I was a student at Hack Reactor. They were offering me a chance to interview at Sony as a front-end software engineer. During my time as a teacher and as a campus manager, I was actually coding on the side, working on projects and brushing up my skills. I was perfectly positioned to land this job, and so I gave it my best shot and eventually landed an offer. After joining Sony, I doubled down on doing really well on the job. And this is where Google comes in. During the six month contract with Sony, about halfway in, a Google recruiter hit me up and asked me if I wanted to try an interview at Google. I liked the people that I worked with, I liked the project that I was on, and the company treated me really well. I would be stepping out of my comfort zone to try and prep for this Google interview. It honestly felt like I was betraying Sony, but I decided to give the interview a shot. I agreed to speak to the recruiter over the phone. After talking about my limited experience as a software engineer, the recruiter asked me if I knew anyone that worked at Google. I actually had a former student of mine that had already made their way into Google. So I gave the recruiter their name and the recruiter collected a referral from them. That positive referral actually allowed me to skip the technical phone screen, which is a big load off of my shoulders. However, I'd be going directly to the on-site interview, which was a bit nerve wracking. Thankfully, that former student offered to do mock interviews and help me prepare. This was a huge help. So I went to her office one Friday afternoon and spent a couple hours going over some practice problems. This was immensely helpful for getting me situated in the Google style interviews and it became my guiding light for my interview prep. So how did I prepare for my interview? My main strategy was to do one coding problem a day. Actually, to be more specific, it was to work on a coding problem for 90 minutes a day. It didn't have to be one problem. You see, where I think a lot of people make a mistake when preparing for interviews is they try to grind through problems for the sake of grinding problems. I made a commitment to try to mull over the problem and to get stuck if I had to get stuck, to try to understand every problem that I was facing for at least 90 minutes a day. This meant that beyond just being able to solve the problem, I could actually talk about different solutions and their trade-offs. This strategy seemed to work well for me because A, I have a very tenacious personality, B, I couldn't easily not understand something and just kind of let it go, and C, practicing discussing the different trade-offs is something that the Google interviewer specifically looks for. Now, as you're preparing for a big tech interview, you'll inevitably come across a problem that you don't know how to solve. This is totally understandable. I've totally been there and this happened to me a lot when preparing for the Google interview. But instead of trying to march forward by copying or referencing an existing solution, I would recommend just get stuck and let yourself be stuck for a few days if you have to. Just keep trying different solutions and ideas. You can actually go to different problems and come back to this problem, but it's easier said than done. I actually really hated this process. It made me feel like a failure each time I bumped up against the problem I didn't know how to solve. However, there's one big upside to this approach. Whenever I got stuck on a problem, the more I struggled with it, 
the more I seemed to understand it better when I solved it. So I just kept plugging away 90 minutes a day on coding problems, focusing on understanding each problem that I faced. That seemed to work for me because I ended up getting an offer. Now I want to talk about what the interview experience was actually like. This was before the pandemic, so I actually got to interview on site. I arrived on the morning of and spent 30 minutes just sitting outside getting myself situated and brushing up on materials. When the time came, I was greeted in the lobby by my first interviewer. They asked me if I needed to use the bathroom or needed a drink of water before getting started. One thing I really enjoyed about the Google interview process is they try to make you feel super comfortable. Every single interviewer starts off by asking you, do you need a drink of water or do you need to take a bathroom break? You can really tell that they want you to succeed. This helped me feel at ease and perform much better. Now, I won't go over the specific questions that I got because I actually don't remember all the details anyways, but I'll give you a general idea. I had five on-site interviews and three of them were generalist style interview problems. They would start with an ambiguous problem statement and the scope of the problem would evolve as you progressed through the problem. And I had two front end specific interviews that were more about CSS and programming in JavaScript. I was adequately prepared for the generalist style interviews because I had read up on exactly what the Google interview process was like, but I didn't know what to expect from the front end interviews. One of the front end interviews asked me to create a UI using a framework of my choice. So I picked React for this interview. The other one started with a CSS warm up question, then moved on to an asynchronous JavaScript programming exercise. In both cases though, the core thing that I felt like they were looking for was actually not my knowledge of CSS, HTML, or JavaScript, but about my general problem solving ability. So while Google might conduct these domain specific interviews, I found them to be just an alternative presentation to the same grading rubric. I eventually got an offer and I stayed at Google for four years as a software engineer. During that time, I actually interviewed many candidates myself, so my hunch was correct and that the grading rubric is universal regardless of the type of interview. Knowledge of a particular language or a specific technology has never been a requirement for getting hired at Google. Okay, so that's it for how I got a job at Google as a software engineer. If you have any questions about being a software engineer at companies like Google, then feel free to drop a comment below. If you like this video, I have an email newsletter about landing a job in tech that you might find useful. It's linked in the description below. And if you're interested in improving your interview performance, then check out this other video about four tips for acing a software engineering interview. It'll either be on the screen or linked in the description below. Okay, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.